Hi, my name is Jean McDonald, and I do transitions coaching. I help people learn to be caregivers and learn to take care of themselves as they go through the caregiving process. And I also have a little bit of experience behind my, my teaching in that I've lived 65 years. I've made a lot of mistakes in life. So let my long journey be your shortcut. Today's video is the number two way that psychology today suggests with how to cope with big changes. And this number two way is that realize that even good change can be stressful. Now we like to think that when we really want to change, we want a new job, we want a new relationship, we want marriage, we want children, we want to live in an exciting new place, that all this good vibe is going to help us transition through these um, changes. But there's a lot involved in the layers of change, even good change. And so we need to realize that we are going to feel a level of stress. One of my personal examples is when uh, Jerry and I decided that he should move into my house. And, and actually, we would live together. Now, we would, you know, we dated like for three plus years. He's spending most of his time here, but he still had his house, his man cave over there. And I had my space when I needed it. Well, when my brother had a seizure and I needed to move him up here to be close so I could watch over him, we needed a place affordable where he could stay. So it was a perfect time to move my brother into Jerry's house, which was like an unintentional uh, kind of a traumatic change in his life and my life. But then the good change was that Jerry was going to live with me full time. But that involved getting used to each other's things, getting used to someone else being in your space full time. And I think it's been two years and I think I'm still kind of still settling into it, as well as Jerry's still undergoing that transition of still moving his stuff in. I have a very small house, and he has quite a bit of things. I have things that I like to have my way. Are you like that? No. Uh, maybe I inherited it from my controlling mom. I don't know. But we have to learn to to work together, to get along, to, to go through these beautiful changes together. I, I, I would miss him if he wasn't around. And, and I haven't had, except for one trip where I had to, to go on a trip without him, that we haven't been together all the time. Uh, so it's it's a good change but there's still adjustment and there still is adjustment. And just realize that it's okay to feel stress. It's okay to know that you are going through this transition and it's not all going to be roses and gumdrops, but that you're going to have to, to learn some new ways to cope in life. And so my tip today is know that, first of all, you're always going to get through change, but that transition from the start of the change through to the aha, uh -huh, I get it, I know what to do now, that transition can take a long time, and it's okay not to rush yourself. I think we get even more stressed when we try to make that stress go away. We think we should be beyond it. We think we should be happy about the transition when, in fact, we need to allow 
ourselves to to truly adjust on a physical level, you know, with with Jerry's stuff in the house, with the emotional level of having less privacy. I'm a very introverted person, so I need my quiet space and Jerry loves loud stereos. So there's an emotional transition. There's a mental transition. There's a spiritual transition. And to allow ourselves time to, to process all these levels is important. So that's my tip today is to, to process slowly, give yourself some love and leeway. We would never push other people to move as fast as, as we push ourselves sometimes. So, so give yourself a break. My caregiving website is carewithoutdespair.com. My speaking and coaching website is jeanmcdonald.com. You'll see some information on both sites. And thank you for listening tomorrow. We're going to go into um, number three from this Psychology Today article on 10 ways to cope with big, big changes. So that's coming up next. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.